Hey guys, Chris with Coalition Gaming here, also Homebrew Hero with us today. What's going on? We're going to be doing the repeatable budget build. If you want to see that video, it's linked up here, by the way. But we're going to be repeating that build, proof of concept. We, we're going to do it again, but this time we're doing it, and we're doing it live. With two we're, of them. Two of them right here. This one and this one. So we got fellow Coalition Gaming crew member, Homebrew here, right here, helping us out. We're going to be building in this case. This was the used case that I got with the graphics card. And uh, that's the uh, Corsair Spec 02. And in this case, you guys might recognize, this is the Delta One. Anyways, let's get to it. So let's go over the parts list on these guys. We have a couple of Arctic Freezer 7 Revision 2.0s. I think they're the pros, something like that. These are gonna be cooling down the CPUs. Two PWM Arctic F12 fans. That's gonna be on the rear for the rear fan header two 120 gig SSDs. We have the LED kits that's under them. That's in these ones, so we gotta dress them up a little bit. The power adapter, so we can use a stock power supply with these Z400 boards. Graphics cards, GeForce GTX 670 Galaxy. Two gigabyte here, two gigabyte there, although that's a for the win, so that boosts really high. This one competes more with a reference style 960. So a 670 and a reference 960 are very much on par. This guy's a little bit more of a beefcake though. Look at that backlight. Yeah, very nice. To the main system here, we have the motherboards. So the motherboards with the RAM and the CPUs, that's a Xeon W3505, uh, uh, sorry, W3550 on both. That's the same as an i7-950. 12 gigs of RAM on this bad boy, eight gigs of RAM on that one. These were bought all in one like this off of eBay with the CPU and the RAM already on it. What a great deal. The cases are gonna be a, this Raid Max Delta I, the Corsair Spec 02, and this power supply is a brand new EVGA 500 watt unit. I guess it's time to build. What do you think? How are you uh, feeling? I'm down. Let's do it. Can I, can I pull the plastic off though? Yeah, yeah. Who it says is... you can't get a good value used? Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, whew. I think I might have gotten it. I got a little corner going. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll go. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say the uh, stuff. That was like the small, slow. It, w it was, but like that one was still intact. These were on here. here. Price breakdowns for everything is going to be listed in the description, so make sure you check that out if you want any more info on any of this stuff. Okay, all the stuff's ready to go. You want to build? Yeah, let's do it. Let's build, let's build. My, my power you supply. Still set in like, front of everything else you're doing. You just dumped yours in there. I'm like, see, Ooh. I came prepared. I was like, he's probably not gonna have screwdrivers ready. So, oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, <laughs> see, there's, there's see. So a big thing when it comes to used computers, a lot of people think they can't get deals consistently. Well, when I, I had the idea that I can maybe make a little profit, get it, repeat the deals, sell these, and just show everyone that these systems, that the way I have it configured in our repeatable budget build video, can indeed, can indeed be repeated. All right, so we're doing these budget builds uh, with some used parts, some maybe refurb parts. Uh, not really a big, big fan of that concept, but if it performs, then you know we'll have the, the proof to back it up. So let's see how they do. You know what we need? We need some Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. I think my CPU cooler is better than your CPU cooler. I think mine's better, dude. How, how, how's yours even better? Cause how? mine's got my touch on it, dude. You haven't touched it yet. Mine has fingerprints. I touched it. When? When we were setting them up. <laughs> You're right, damn it. See, see? Third one. What, what Are you got? actually racing? No. No, just going. He's, go he's going, his full speed to me feels You're like racing. You're definitely pretty slow though. 
Shut up. <laughs> you want to just cut them? You want to do? It's fine. Like one wrap of electrical tape. Sitting, don't look at the dust. The holes don't want to line up. It's weird. That's what she said. Damn. <laughs> you love Corsair. That's why you got the Corsair case. Actually, you know what? These wires are not needed. No, they're not actually, but. So we're gonna flush cut them. All right, enough of this. Enough of that. None of that. You gotta flush cut them, dude. Here, do it, do it to the other one then, too. Where's, this? Where, where's the other adapter? Here, here. This guy. Like, come on, man. If I if I would have known this was what was awaiting me, I would have brought my pin-out tool. Just to pull them Just out? Just to pull them out completely, yeah. Use your strength. No, I don't want to mangle your stuff. See? See this? And look at look at this. Look at this. One piece of tape. It works. It One works, Sam. Man. There you go. Get, it, get, your, get your stuff out of here. Lovely lady lips? Nobody knows what it means. For that for that case, the four pin sucks. For this one, it's not so bad because it has this up here. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I do not. So that kind of puts a giant F U into my make everything look clean. Four pins plugged in. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you bend it or what did you do? I snaked it in through that little tiny cutout all the way at the top. Could have used you for the other build. <laughs> but you know what? It worked. Where's that? Oh, here it is. I'm gonna say it works. Hold on, I'm gonna figure out a way to route this cable real quick. It Come doesn't want to stay. <laughs> this is all good. This dude is an absolute machine. Just knocking the build out. I'm still getting there. I still gotta put my lights. He has his lights. I've already put in the cooler. He's had that in. Uh, but we're getting there, and then we'll be able to turn them on and see see whose turns on and whose doesn't, or if both turn on. That'd be good too. Zolman in the house. What's up, 15 viewers? Zalman's alive? On Twitch. Aren't you supposed to still be building? No, I'm done. I'm waiting on him now. Well, then now uh, just help speed me up. All right, go. <laughs> I hear they call you Louie B. Louie. Any color you want, right there. Dunzo. Dunzo. Hard to see it in the front, blue, but yeah. It's <laughs> <back up there. laughs> well, it looks good to the side, too. <laughs> Because if you turn off the lights, see it shines down in the case, and it'll hide all the ugly power cables down here. First, I'm multitasking. We're doing this live. I'm streaming as well, so you can see up there. Uh, and then, we get, he's already done. Look at him just chilling. All right, then, my hair's up. I'm done, dude. <laughs> and then, I got distracted and put, my, put, put the fan in backwards. So now I gotta, gotta do that. Gotta flip it back around and start getting this wrapped up. So there we go, the builds are all done, the benchmarks have been ran, and the performance numbers speak for themselves. Pretty good performance from budget systems like this, don't you agree? 
Anyways, Bergs, how do you feel about building all this? It's actually pretty easy. I'm surprised using OEM parts from a you know an OEM enterprise machine actually went really smoothly. Right, right. Surprisingly good. So once once you get the the little issues figured out with these sorts of systems, it actually goes pretty smoothly, just like you said. And that's what the repeatable budget build is all about. The linked above, by the way. And uh, well, we repeated it again here. So one of the reasons that we did this was mainly because as a repeatable build, which is the one that these were based off of, some people might think you can't really repeat them. This is the first time I had Homebrew Hero right here build a Z400 custom system like this one. And how do you feel about that? Oh, it's super easy. There's, there's a little gotchas, but they're really not a big deal. Like, follow a guide, you're good to go. There's not a lot to worry about. And all that information will be linked in this post as well as in the post of the repeatable budget build video. So any issues you guys have with that, great. Uh, leave a question. I'll make sure to help you guys out as best as I can with it. So when it comes to performance on computers, especially use budget builds like this, do you agree that really you don't need a you know thousand, two thousand dollar system to run the latest games and do all that stuff? You know, no. How do you feel about that? No, honestly, these being six core processors, not, budget budget graphics. Not, cards, not these ones specifically. No, but this, any, this platform yeah. can go to six cores, yeah, so that can, is its cool thing. So you have an upgrade path. So you're not stuck with you know what you've got. I think that having the flexibility in these builds is a really big benefit to someone who wants to get into this. And both these builds really came in under $300, yeah. all said and done. So, Which you can't even buy a prepackaged machine that's capable for that price. 60 FPS gaming is what these are both going to be capable of with modern titles. So, I mean, yeah. what more can you ask for? Anyways, if you guys like this video, click that like button. Head on over to Homebrewed Heroes channel. It's all in the description. You'll see it there, Homebrewed Hero. It'll be linked at the end of this video as well. Subscribe, we always got more coming. We got some stuff coming from DreamHack, all sorts of content coming. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. See Bye. You.